Hi, it's Mercedes with your Tip Tuesday. So today, let's talk about the coronavirus because it's unavoidable. Everybody's talking about it, and I, I do want to say that it is going to get bad. It's going to get pretty bad to the point where a lot of cities might actually be under quarantine. Um, we see that already in Italy. Um, they shut down the whole country today. I just saw some announcements that some carnivals and some festivals have been canceled too. So it's, it's un unavoidable. So let's talk about what we can do and, and stay in the positive and how we could actually benefit from some of this and not only survive it, but actually thrive doing it. So I will equate my experience to a tragedy or a situation like this going back to 9-11. And I remember <clears throat> during 9-11 that a lot of people were really panicked. Nobody wanted to go to the malls. Everybody was worried about more terrorism. And then SARS and Avion and uh, what was it? Oh, anthrax. So people were afraid to even open their mail. So it was a really critical um, time. It was almost like a decade full of like this kind of crisis mode. And what we realized that is that people turn to nesting. So that means that gifts for the home, tabletop, things of that nature, loungewear, really soft, comfortable fabrics, things that give people comfort is what they're going to be shopping for. The other part of the spectrum that we noticed too is that luxury and high end and things that people were saving up for, they're actually going to purchase it now. And it's kind of like that mentality that, oh, I might die tomorrow, so I might as well have that Gucci bag kind of feeling that we all kind of get where when we're under crisis mode. And let's remember one more thing. There's a reason why they call it retail therapy. Now, they may not be shopping at the mall, they may not be going to Main Street, but they will be shopping online. And even though I absolutely despise the online business, um, only because it's not profitable, but if you are a brick and mortar store and you have a relationships with your customers, you're gonna find that they're gonna do phone calls, they're gonna do Skypes, they're gonna do FaceTime with you, they're gonna shop in your store virtually, and of course through Instagram, Facebook, and a website. So please do step up your game when it comes to uh, online retailing. Um, for the designers, think about really soft, comfortable fabrics. Think about things that make you comfortable at home and make you happy at home. Uh, shiny, bright colors always come into play when we're talking about crisis mode and situations like that. So think about all the different potentials and the different revenue streams that will come to play um, at a time like this. But most of all, please do not panic. I was just in LA market. I could tell that the attendance was low. You cannot sell from an empty store. And at the end of the day, business will go on. It's the people that persevere and are not afraid that actually will prosper during this time. So I'm Mercedes. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Please follow me on Instagram. And don't forget, we do have master classes. And don't forget to read my book. See you soon.